speaking of The Rock, uh, who I know is Dwayne Johnson, I'm not name dropping, I'm just saying. Uh, of course, uh, for any Vince Russo critics, The Rock is the only guy who I've ever seen publicly come out and speak about and defend on Twitter. So Pritchard and Bischoff and, and, and Cornette. Very nice. Let me the Rock, you. The Rock fucking uh, uh, comes to defend the, the, the VR dog. But uh, nice. Thank you. another question I've got, and I love this one because uh, this is the storyline that I've been watching a, a lot of now. It was the whole DX uh, versus the nation stuff. Uh, with The Rock and Triple H, they both openly said that they're, that in real life, the feud uh, was, although not, not that they were having real fights, but there was a lot more tension in reality. Uh, there's a story I've heard that at one point, the original plan for WrestleMania 15 was Austin versus Triple H. But then at SummerSlam, The Rock and Triple H was so great. And The Rock was basically like Elvis, so over that Vince McMahon's like, well, we got to change plans, pal. Uh, okay. But then the word was that Austin, who still had a little hate with Shawn Michaels, said, fuck that. We're sticking with the, with, we're going with The Rock. Know what I'm saying? That's my uh, Sable impression. Yeah. So the the que- is is there any truth to any of that? Not true. Not true. None of none of that is true, bro. Zero. Zero. Bro, there were three guys. You know, here here, bro. Here's the thing you got to understand, because you know, bro. Like, I don't want to call Bruce a liar or Jr. Lie. I would never call those guys liars. But bro, he- here's the bottom line. Bruce would have conversations with Vince that I wasn't privy to. JR would have conversations with Vince that I wasn't privy to. But, bro, when it came down to writing the shows, there were three people. It was Vince, Ed Ferrara, and myself. That's it. We were the guys, me me and Ed were the guys that put pen to paper. We wrote the shows. So, you know, bro, if, if Pritchard tells a story like that or, or JR, bro, they could have had these sidebar conversations with Vince and talent that I knew nothing about. But I'm telling you, the three guys that were writing the show, that is not true. But for clickbait, we can say The Rock and Triple H hated each other. They stabbed each other, and they're still fighting today. And all those matches were real, right? Yes, 100%. You can go with that. And by the way, I can say this. Bruce Pritchard is a liar. Uh, I interviewed him a couple of years ago about this infamous WrestleMania 9 story for back in 93 or 92. And he said all those stories were wrong. or so All those rumors were wrong. He's then gone on his own show and has every every rumor that I had asked him about, he's since gone on to say was true. But it's like you fat liar. Bro, you know, you know what bothers me a little about you know Bruce with, with you know that show and the stories and stuff like that. Bro, I'm 60 years old. I've forgotten a lot. And if I forget something, I say I forgot. But bro, you know, listen. The reality of it is Bruce liked his alcohol. Bruce liked his pills. And that's the thing that blows me away. For for a guy that had some battles and struggles with alcohol and pills, he thinks he remembers everything. And I'm like, bro, I didn't drink. I didn't take pills. I don't remember everything. So for him to think he's got this photographic memory when part of the time he was drinking part of it. It it just, no bro. Like he thinks that every, he thinks he remembers everything. And the reality of it is he doesn't bro. You, you, you don't drink or you've never drank. I I, I mean, I, I'm not a drinker. No, bro. I am in time for another can. I, I, what do you have in your hand? A glass? Because I'm seeing I'm seeing a snow background. The glass just disappeared. What oh no! Is this glass? is a, a pint of Guinness, which I'm about to pour. Very nice. Okay, very the nice. Steve Austin had Steve Weisers. I've got boozy Husies. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Speak, speaking of Irish, the final mark. Well, what co- time is it over there that you're drinking over there like that? A beer o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, no, it's um, it's just coming up to twenty past five p.m. So oh, it's, okay, it's, you're okay then. You're all right. It, although it doesn't excuse the five vodkas that I had before recording. 